If you're watching this video, you're probably in the right spot because you just got a mouse by make noise and you have no idea what this module does. In this first part of the series, we're going to take a look at envelopes, what they are and how to make them with maths. Today's video is sponsored by Analog Sounds, which is me. If you go to that website down below and link in the description, you go to that website and buy a module from there. It supports more videos like this and I'm able to keep continuing making content and getting gear to make these videos look better and supply you guys with more stuff. So thank you. So here we have a very simple setup with mass. We're coming out of the unattenuated output here and that's going through my oscilloscope. It's going to be opening up a VCA. So this is what it's going to sound like. So simply put, with MAVs you can do logarithmic, exponential, or linear envelopes. This is what an exponential envelope would look like. And you can imagine it shaping the volume. That shape right there is literally what your volume is going to be doing. And how to adjust that is you mess with the attack and decay here. And that'll determine how long it takes the volume to get to the peak and for it to die out. So your decay is how long it will take to reach zero. And attack is how quick it will reach its peak there. Keep in mind here, I'm using the cycle button. The cycle button just means this envelope is just going to repeat over and over and over and over. So it's kind of like an LFO also. Okay, so there's an exponential envelope. A logarithmic envelope is going to look more like this. Again, messing with the attack and decay here, or the rise and fall. And they can go a real long time. But notice the difference in the shape there. And then we also have linear. Notice the difference in shape there also. So there's some simple envelopes with mass. Now if you wanted to get a little more complex with your envelope shapes, there are CV inputs over here. You can voltage control the rise, the fall, or both. And then you also have a cycle CV input here, but we're not going to be talking about that right now. So let's just put a simple, let's just do a LFO into the rise and see what that looks like. Notice how the shape is changing the volume every time an LFO goes into it. Take that same LFO, put it into the fall. Now 
mouse button to both. As you can see, you're getting, you know, this may not be an envelope you'd use traditionally, but you can get way different shapes, therefore getting some crazy sounds out of just a simple envelope. <laughs> 